Mid State Pools and Spas carries an outstanding line of hot tubs. Adding a spa to your deck or patio is a great and affordable way to spice up your backyard area. Hydrotherapeutic reasons are pleasure. We can help you find the right spa that fits your needs. All our spas range from a seating capacity of two to upwards of seven in our signature collection. And there's also different cabinet colors to choose from too, so that you can pick out the right color that best fits your area. There's several different add-ons that can be implemented to make your spa even more enjoyable. That's Mid-State Pools and Spas, the ultimate hot tub experience. Folks, Jeff Deal, Stephen Katie here, TV 35. We want to welcome y'all out to the East Lawrence Falcon Field, located in God's Country, beautiful East Dublin, Georgia. We get, we fixing to get underway right here. It sounds like we got a purge going on. These Falcons getting ready. Katie, glad you're here, brother. I really appreciate you coming out. Go ahead and give us a couple of them captains right there, so we can uh, get everything started. Glad to be here, Jeff. Glad to be here. We got four captains out there right now. We got Melvin Wilcox, Quintavious Aldolphus, we got Bernard Carswell, and our last captain tonight is going to be Damian Mitchell. Damian Mitchell. I tell you, I had a chance to come watch these Falcons play uh, two weeks ago uh, against Trinity, and it was a close game in the first half, and they pulled it out 42 to 13, I think. Uh, had a tough game two weeks ago against Washington Wilkes, but we got several starters out. We got Eli Downing out, uh, Tristan Baker out, who were two phenomenal athletes. Tristan Baker won state champion last year in wrestling. Uh, Eli Down is just a awesome running back. He, he catches the ball well. So it hurt us last week, uh, two weeks ago. Excuse me. I really thought we were going to come out with a W, but we've had a week off. We've had a bye week. We're playing one and one Jenkins County. Uh, they won 40 to nothing against Trutland County, and they lost a close one to Johnson County last week. Uh, Talking to Ben Turner early on in the week, he said that they're more focused. Uh, they've worked on the physicality on the defensive side of the ball on stopping it. So I'm just looking forward to a good game. This is our first official game on home field turf. We've got the brand new AstroTurf field. You saw the, the lights coming on and off. We've got a huge student section down there with their stomachs painted. We'll get you some coverage of that in a little bit. But, but Katie, coming in 0-1, what do you think the key to this game is to getting off to a fast start? Well, right here, it's it's all about knowing you're on your home field. It's knowing that you're in control. Your fans are here. You look at the fans over there and the, the, the fan side for the opposing team. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pumped up people. Here on the east side, they're pumped up. They're supporting their team. they got to use that energy, and they got to develop that out there on the football field. Well, I tell you, we got a nice crowd tonight. We were in about an hour-long lightning delay. It's, it's 7.45. It's supposed to start at 7. For the folks out here that don't know why we played on Thursday night instead, they're having some kind of referee shortage with GHSA right now, so they moved it a day earlier. But hopefully that'll get us a good game. Uh, got to see a lot of alumni, East Lawrence alumni. Got to talk to Miss Kathy Sweat, who's one of our board members, Mr. Trent Hester. Just seeing all the people I grew up with. Uh, I'm excited about this new field, but growing up playing at the old Falcon Field 20 years ago, uh, it's a bittersweet moment. But like my granddaddy said earlier, time goes on. So let's get ready. Uh, looks like East Lawrence is kicking off right here. I think we got Mr. Tanner going to be doing this for us. 39, yeah, it's going to be Connor Tanner, who's been playing since a freshman. Uh, he's done an outstanding job. Jenkins, Jenkins County has elected to uh, receive. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and let you know ahead of time. I don't have a roster for Jenkins County, but we're here for the Falcons. So we're going to get them names out, and Jenkins County will be referred to by their numbers. All right, folks, getting set. The whistle's blown. Little pooch kick, trying to keep it away from the dangerous returner they have. Uh, let's see, who do we have on the tackle right there? We got 28 and number 53. 28 is going to be Adam Francis, and 53 is going to be Brandon McWilliams. Brandon McWilliams. Adolphus, I think he changed his number from last year, but Adolphus was a huge defensive player last year, uh, along with. I'm trying to see if Zero's out there. Yeah, Zero was uh, Melvin Wilcox. And then we got Mr. Dice, number 21, one of our players of the game last year as a sophomore. So he's only a junior this year. 
All right, <clears throat> Jenkins County runs a, a triple option offense, run heavy, dive up the middle, quarterback's going to keep it. Who do we got there on the uh, tackle, Katie? I've got to tell you what, that was number 21. That's going to be Gavin Dyson. He was in the backfield before he got the ball. That was beautiful. I tell you, his grandmama works out here in East Lawrence. She's die hard, went to school with his daddy, uh, comes from a great family. They've been through a lot over the last couple of years, but I love to watch him play. He brings so much intensity out here. Absolutely. He fired off of that ball. Down. 57, I'm going to call him out. Good friend of mine, son, Wesley Stanley, stepping in for Tristan Baker. Tyrone Stanley's his father, does a great job with the local uh, Ravens travel football team. Football's in his blood, hoping he has a real good game tonight. All right, going to be the pitch man. Who do we got? Number eight's going to take him down. You got us a name. Yep, number eight is going to be Trevin Richardson. We lost outside containment on that. He got sucked in with a little cut. He bounced it out. Of course, you know you played running back. Yep, absolutely. He got him. He got him. We come back inside. They got that cutback block from the, the split end, and that was it. I was actually reading an article about Jenkins County coach. It said it's his third uh, coaching stint. He actually retired for five or six years. Uh, decided to get back in it. And Jenkins County traditionally have been a very low bottom kind of single A team. And and I'm telling you, they, they're off to a good start this year. They, they've got a dynamic coach over there who's had a winning record and a winning pedigree. All right, Jenkins County going to fake. Oh, we're going to give the dive. Balls, balls on the ground. Uh, uh, folks, folks, get used to the officials over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Ball was moving around. May have had a premature whistle there, but. I'm going to call zero Wilcox, and I'm also going to put uh, Mr. Stanley in there with him, number 57. I'm going to tell you what, both defensive tackles push that line right back. That's the second time I've seen that. If they can keep pushing that line back on the snap of the ball, that's going to be huge. If we can take the dive away, that's what we got to do. They, I think they only uh, attempted two passes last week. They're a very run-heavy offense. Not well, to say they might not come out slinging it tonight, but traditionally they're going to run as much as they can. Reminds you of the old Georgia Tech or Georgia Southern offense. That's exactly what it's looking like. Trap there left. Go. There's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to break the way. He's going to break it all the way. Number six on about a 35-yard touchdown run, guys. We have got to get that under control. Yeah. Coach Turner, as defensive-minded as he is, I'm sure he's going to he's going to have something for that next drive. Yeah. Uh, we are a linebacker on that one, kind of bit inside. They got on the outside. There was no containment to hold him in. All right, got a couple of subs. Looks like number 30's coming in. Evan Thompson. Evan Thompson. Yeah. Number 12 checking out John Downing. Get off the field, get off the field. Here we go. And the extra points, good. Folks, it's gonna be seven to nothing. War Eagles out of Jenkins County with 10-16 to go. Folks, we're gonna be right back with you in just a second. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson, and we've been baking here at Williamson's Bakery since 1927. We're famous for donuts, cookies, pies, cakes, brownies, cheese straws, whatever you need. Come see us. At Williamson's Bakery, we put a little extra love in everything we make. Williamson's Bakery, check us out on Facebook, call ahead, or just come on down and get some. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full-service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. All right, folks, we're back 10 16 to go. East Lawrence fixing to take over their first offensive possession of the game. We got six and number 12 back there to return. Yep, six is going to be Cash Bryant and 12 is going to be John Downey. I'd like to see one of these guys get a good kick return here. If they can catch that ball on the move, I think we got a chance to get some good field position. Old Cash Money, number six, was the quarterback last year. He's a good friend of my son's, a That's super humble headed. kid. Out of bounds at the 25 yard Should line. Should be 35 now. I think they changed it to 35. Cashmere Bryant was our quarterback last year. Phenomenal athlete, runs a 4 4. We got to put it in his hands, in his hands, and let him do something. Yeah. Um, I was a little, I was a little uh, upset when they changed his position, but Mr. Boston, our quarterback, has come in and he can light it up throwing the ball. And that's it about high schools. A lot of times, you got two or three guys that can interchange and go different places. And these guys know it's about the team. They know it's about putting the right people in the right places for the team to win. 
again. Oh, it looks like East Lawrence is just going to take the penalty and back them up, let them kick again. Try to make them kick it to Cashmere Bryant. I like it. I if, like it. If he can get in the open field, nobody will catch him. Yep. Completely agree with the coach on this call. You might as well just take an onside kick if you can't kick it no farther than that and have a 50-50 yeah. shot. Yeah, that, that one there, I think he got a little too much swing on it. Again, folks, we're not going to be calling any names out for Jenkins County. It's nothing uh, nothing against them, but just couldn't get a roster in time. Uh, couldn't get one online. And Come on, Cash. Let's go, Cash. Cash has got it. We got some movement here. We got some blockers ahead of them. Here he comes to the near side. Oh. All right, decent return. Got up to about the, what, 36, 37-yard line. Yep. Made a couple moves, made a couple miss. Cash is more of an east, uh, east and west runner. Yep. He can run north and south, but he knows he's the fastest one on the team. And, and like we talked about earlier, I told him in person, I said, hey, sometimes you got to wait on them blockers. Yep. If you'll just wait, it's there. Yep. All right. Our new quarterback this year, starting quarterback, is going to be Zaylin Boston, number 18, transferred in last year. Done a great job so far just commanding this offense. We mostly run out of a shotgun spread set, some pistol. Rare if we get under the center. and. We're going to get into the center now. Let's see what we got here. Sweet with cash. Let's go, got baby. Got some room. Got some room here. Here we go. Good hard run. That's a first down right there, folks. Up to yep. about the 50-yard line. I yep. told you, he's got speed to burn. He does. Cash ran outside. He waited for that outside blocker to set the block. And when he cut up field, you can see that speed. Owen Bailey, first down of the season. Outstanding. Ball is spotted on the 39-yard line. Again, we got number four, Eli down, and he's out, and he's actually our number one running back. I can't wait to see Cash and Eli in the backfield together somehow. Boston still under the center. We got Adolphus in motion. Going to run a little off tackle. And somebody shot through there on the right yeah, side. That'd be number five for Jenkins. He uh, it looks like we might have missed a block there on him. Was he a linebacker or a lineman nice. coming through? That's going to be a linebacker that shot in, and we didn't pick him up. Bring up second down and 11. Second down and 11, folks. You hear the voice of the Falcons a little bit in the background. Scott Davenport, longtime teacher and uh, just, a, just a huge fan of all East Lawrence sports. We appreciate everything him and uh, Miss Davenport do for the school. All right, we're getting back in our comfort zone right here with the shotgun set. Cash out in the flats, hit him in the flats. There he goes, Boston. Nope. Yeah, well, that was number 50. Five, I believe, for Jenkins County got back there. The we had a running back open in the flats over there on the right, but he, I don't think he got his read over there before he got hit. All right, we got uh, Dankavius Richardson uh, checking in and number two, Anthony O'Neill. We got 14, uh, Jermichael Carswell over here, left side receiver. We got Cayenne Sneed. They, there's a couple of them Sneed boys on the east side. Middle school, elementary, high school. They yep, are some got, good that athletes. That nose tackle is just burning us up. Oh. Mm. Little bit underthrown, but I, I admire the, the wheel on him rolling out trying to make something happen. Yeah, absolutely. Third and 16, you got to do something with it. He had 52 that came in at nose tackle all over him. He uh, He's just got that arm swim on our center, and it was over with. And that's what I read about uh, when they played Johnson County. Johnson County is a big trap and dive uh, 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 offense with their triple option and their wing T they run. And they said they couldn't run anything up the middle. There's yeah. no middle against Jenkins County with that 52. Yeah, he, he was a monster right there. All right, looks like we're going to have Mr. Wilcox. He definitely got the biggest legs on the field. I think he's going to be able to punt this. Yes, sir. Really need to get this one uh, deep in their zone. And it's a good punt. There we go. Him, there oh. we go. Yes, That's sir. number 30 right there, Evan Thompson. Wow, what a hit. That is our rip rocker of the game right there, probably, folks. A Jenkins returner got spun around and was standing straight up, and he come in there and he said, hey, how are you doing tonight? Goodness gracious, that was nice. All right, we're going to stay with you right here. That was a quick possession. Jenkins County coming back out. Looks like they're going to be starting on their 15-yard line. 15-yard line coming out. 
Kind of hoping that was one of the running backs returning that. He don't want to run it no more. Oh, that was their fullback number six. Okay. I'll take that. We got a twin receiver set, still running that triple option. Yep. Going to be playing man coverage. Let's see if they send some linebackers here. They're going to go right back to the middle of the field, and that's not working for them tonight. We got zero Melvin Wilcox, <laughs> and we got 21 Gavin Dice again on the play. I'm telling you, they are eating that middle up. Now, if we can get that outside containment down, it's going to be a long night for Jenkins. Jenkins has only had two big plays thus far to get him to that score, and both of them we lost outside containment on. Got to keep it. I, we were always told your job's not to make the tackle. Turn them in and let the linebackers clean it up. Absolutely. Or the safety. Absolutely. Easier said than done, though. All right, Jenkins County coming back up. One receiver set. Still in that tight triple option formation. East Lawrence looks like in cover one. They're running that trap again. Yep. Good cut by number six there for Jenkins. We had him for maybe a two-yard game, but he cut inside and he's going to slip number up for a few extra yards. Trying to get us a number on who made the tackle. 16 is going to be Ty Sneed. I, I, I tell you, we have good tacklers always at East Lawrence, but for some reason, we want to tackle high. Yeah. I'm sorry, folks. Number six, you can hit him up high, and he's going to get you for another five yards. Yeah, they basically got a lineman back there. He's, he's definitely stout. Take his line, legs out from up under him. He ran through about two arm tackles there. Jenkins County running like a bunch option now to the left. You got a tight end, a wing, and a receiver bunched up. Probably going to hit it wide. There we go. Yep. Holding. Come on right. now. Good containment. I think they just tackled number two, Anthony O'Neill, right there in the backfield. But number zero, uh, Wilcox, on the tackle again. Number three on the carry, Christian Wilson. Wesley Stanley was in there as well. I tell you, their pulling guard hugged, <laughs> hugged O'Neal right there and took him to the ground, gave him some sugar, Second held him five. down right in front of the official and didn't even call it. Well, that's, that's the only way they're going to move that ball around the middle, I promise you. All right, Coach Turner, what are we going to dial up right here? I'm trying to see if we're sending people or we're playing more of a base and trying to react to it right here. Were very reactive. All right, he, uh, Coach Ben Turner's fixing to talk it over and probably chew some butt out right here. We're going to get back with you in just a second, folks. 5.50 to go in the first quarter. Your score is more Eagles 7, Falcons 0. We'll be right back with you, folks. Looking for a career that's always in demand? How about one that provides you with practical and useful skills? A career that allows you to earn hands-on experience and an education with little to no debt? Oconee Fall Line Technical College prepares students with the right set of skills to succeed in fast-growing careers in healthcare, manufacturing, business, and technology fields. If you're ready to gain the experience you need to start your career locally, OFTC is where it all begins. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. I'm Glenn Redster at Hometown Supply. Want to wish all our area schools the very best in the upcoming season. Hometown Supply, located in downtown Dublin, is here for all your home and hardware needs. We offer new and used appliances, both gas and electric. Competitive prices on electronics and computers, including cell phones, laptops, and tablets. We have service people on staff, a repairman for our appliances, and a computer technician for our electronics. Come by and see how we can help. Just remember, if you can't do business here, you just can't do business. All right, folks, we're back with you. 5.50 to go in this first quarter. War Eagles driving. Going to be second in about five yards. Looking for a big play. Coach Turner just talked it over with his team. Great defensive-minded coach. Here we go, sneaking up. There we go. We got Wilcox again in on the tackle. I'm trying to see. Gavin Dice in there again, 21. We got our Undertaker music on. It's third down. I'll tell you what, Wilcox is all over the field, isn't he? We got our student section down here to the right. They are getting into it. We all painted up, ready to go, folks. We just want to give you a little sneak peek of that. I'm really enjoying the lightning shows. I think back when we played, they had to do a campfire and turn the headlights on for us. <laughs> they definitely didn't have these fancy lights. And if they went out, they took an hour to come back on. All right. 
Let's see what we got. Got a whistle here. Oh, let's see if they got it for somebody else besides yep. us. Fox start, five yard penalty, Excellent. folks. And Jenkins well, County, if we could just, if we, Katie, if we could just get up on them, a couple of scores, they're going to have to get in a passing offense they're not used to. I'll tell you what I saw on the last play after the timeout is that coach brought a little pressure on the outside corners, and I think that's going to make a huge difference. I want to see if he keeps pressuring these guys. If he keeps pressuring from the outside, he knows his inside is stout. That might be something to kind of keep these big gains where they're getting outside and cutting back in. I almost want to want to see the safety too come up about five yards and I say, hey, too. you spy the fullback. Where he goes, you go. You're going to have to prove to me you can pass because historically we're not passing if we're Jenkins. Okay. Did we have some movement there on Jenkins' come side? On. I saw him leaning forward Fault a little start bit. again. Fault yep, start excellent. again. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to be second 20. That's great. Hey, good job. First hey, 20. Adolphus me. read it, though. Yeah, he, he went did. on the movement of the linemen. Yep. He read it, and that would have been a big play. If that would, I almost wish it wasn't a penalty. Oh, yeah, because, been uh, that back the Dolphins finna eat somebody's lunch back there. <laughs> Ball start. Well, the Jenkins coach isn't too happy about that, but it, East Lawrence was drawn offside. So. It kind of looks like an old coach we had back in the day at East Lawrence. I yeah. thought it was Buddy Sorrow <laughs> coming off the sideline over there. Yeah. Disguised. He just set the tone. All right, first and 20. You know these guys don't like to pass. This is a big play. We got some good corners. They can stay with them one on one. They're going to run that trap or that sweep. Oh, there look we at go. That. 52 oh, had him. him. There 52 we go. had him. Who's 52? And I'll get 53. Who's 52? Uh, 52 is going to be Marquez Harris. And then we got 53, Brandon McWilliams. So yeah. Harris started it off. McWilliams, uh, he, he finished them off right. That's good what, teamwork. That, that was. That was excellent. Jenkins quarterback trying to spin out of two tackles, and they just well, kept going to the ball. Well, you just called it. You said outside pressure. That's right. One was on the outside, and the other one was there. If you stay in your lane and play fundamental football, which yep. Coach Turner keeps preaching to these guys, if they would, and it seems they bought into his program. If they really buckle down, Ben Turner's going to have them where they need to be. Absolutely, you play your position, and let, you let everybody else play theirs. All right, he's going to run that quarterback keeper again. Number two was in on there. Well, I think the whole East Lawrence defense wanted in on that one. I'm going to call O'Neill and Dice again, along yeah. with. Uh, let me see. I got eight in there. Trayvon Richardson. I got 16 in there again. Ty Snead. I love them Sneed boys now. I know I know their daddy well. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, two or three brothers in the high school. The middle school quarterback's a Sneed, and I coach the youngest one who's in the fifth grade, and he's probably going to be the best one out of all of them. So I hope he's listening. Excellent. You got to love it when family all joins in and you get to oh, see yeah. them all grow up in different generations. Awesome group of kids, man. Good grades, well, well mannered. Third and 20. We know what they got to do. All right, they're going to be third and Highway 80 East. <laughs> Don't don't jump off sides east. They stay disciplined. Trap they right up the middle. It. Oh, good One job. got in there. One started off. Will Cox, 21. Gavin Dice yeah. cleaned it up. He, he slid in there, got him right around the legs, took him down. He had no choice. Excellent job. All right, here we go. Fourth and 20. Ball, 36, see what they do here with the punt. We got who back there? Number eight, that's Travion Richardson. Short punt here. He's gonna pick it up. You get about three yards on the return before half the Jenkins County team tackles him. I tell All you, right. East Lawrence ain't never been short on courage. I don't care what the score was. It goes back to tradition. We always put up a fight, and they always we always believe we can take it the length of the field on any play. Let me so. tell you something, Jeff. That first series for Jenkins, they go down, they stick it in the end zone. You think it deflate them. These guys haven't flinched. They got back out there. Next series, a couple penalties help them out. They don't give up any big plays. They're back with the ball, good field position. Let's see what they do here to respond. Hey, Ben, don't break. All right, we're under that center again, Cashmere Bryant. Gonna be your long single back. Boy, they're playing right. some single coverage on this left side they now. Sure we gotta watch that 52 in the middle, though. Cashmere Bryant on the run. I Turn it on, what. baby. Yes, sir. Nine yard run, eight, nine yard run. Cashmere Bryant, I tell you the right side. Let's get some of these linemen in here. We got number 70. 
uh, opened up that hole. Chance Oliver. Chance Oliver did a great job right there. I'll tell you something, too. As good as that defensive tackle is there, he's pushing our center back. Our center never gave up. He kept pushing and fighting, and he gave it just a split second there for the running back to get those yards. We got 74 Austin Spivey over there on that right side also. Great hole. I think they're running. They're trying to run away from that defensive tackle. Cashmere on about a yard run, 52 yes, in there on the tackle again. On the he went right down the line. I tell you, I hope we keep running this and run that bootleg off of it in the middle. Oh, absolutely. We're gonna catch him. All right, off comes number 11. That's gonna be Richardson. And on comes Melvin Wilcox. These number changes, I think Wilcox was so different. They got me messed up. So Wilcox right. uh, at six, it's going to be coming off. Okay, that's going to be Cash Bryant. Yeah, we got the big boy in. We got Wilcox. Let's see if we can get this yard. That's what they do. They put it in this hand. He's not giving up. Look at him. He takes about four defenders for three yards. I look like Mike Offstock back in the day, didn't he? Man, that looks just like him. I tell you, he was hit in the backfield, beat that man, and took three more on and carried him three more yards. Hey, I'm surprised Wilcox let Cash take him out. Wow. He said, I got this. You're going to stay on out there. They said, your best player on defense is your nose guard. We're sending him to you. Coach is not scared of this guy. All right, Boston in the pistol set, Cash in the backfield. He's going to set back the throw. Oh, we hold got on a, to it. We got a player without a helmet. Hold on to it, Boston. That was about 20 yards of running for two two yards, but now Cash Bryant, somebody took his helmet off. Hey, we got Norion King coming in. He's a freshman, number 19. I watched him last year. He's dynamic. And I'll tell you this, in the middle school game, his little brother's a sixth grader and been playing quarterback for the middle school team. He's about as big as his thigh right there and quick as lightning. Now, he's going to be a heck of an athlete, too. I was really wanting to see Norion run it because because he, he's, he's a he's a hard-nosed runner now. He's yeah. good, but hate to see anybody go out of the game, but it was 52, the guy making 90% of Jenkins County's tackles. We got Norion in at running back, number 19, freshman running back. Real anxious to see him play. Man in motion. Wow, well, right guard move. That's okay. That's okay. I got a feeling that jet sweep was coming right there. It did look they, like it was set up for a jet sweep. They were coming with it. Going to back them up five, 17 seconds to go. All right, coming back up under the center. Time ticking down. They're going to run the same play. Oh, they fake the jet sweep. Norion on the loose, turning and burning. Got about a yard. I tell you, they was they just the blocking shut down over there. Yeah, they had too many guys in the backfield. He made two good, two good moves, or he'd been down for a loss there. So he fought hard. Oh yeah, folks, we just took a break, right? You've got miles and miles of grass to mow, so you're going to need a machine built to perform day in and day out season after season. You're going to need a Gravely built to mow the distance. Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. There, we're going to call some of these line, linemen out. Uh, if you see any, we called Spivey out. Uh, 55 just made a heck of a block 10 yards downfield. He drove his guy all the way to their sideline almost. Yeah, absolutely. We we got some big boys in there tonight doing a good job. Uh, you know, Chance Oliver, we've seen him make a couple of big blocks. Definitely, uh, they got their work cut out for him with that nose guard, defensive tackle, wherever he's lining up. It looked like he wanted to be coming back in the game, so they're going to have some more of him tonight. Yeah, just, just want to give a shout out to some of our sponsors, uh, Myers Equipment. I tell you folks, they're, they're a big sponsor of our local schools. I, I personally bought two lawnmowers from them, along with other accessories. Never had any problems. If I had any questions, they always took care of me. Y'all go out and see Myers Equipment out 441 North. 
They do a great that job, a huge selection down. of stuff. They're actually sponsoring our player of the game, uh, along with Dublin Ball Nissan Chevrolet. Uh, I actually bought my truck there, too. Uh, go see uh, any of those guys over there, Brian, Dan, any of them, or Don, excuse me. They do a great job supporting these local schools. Go tell them you appreciate it, because without them, we wouldn't be here. Uh, East Lawrence, Trinity, Dublin, West Lawrence, they don't pay us to come out here. It's our sponsors that do that. So that's why you're getting to watch your kids play uh, on the TV like you do. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great businesses, local businesses that we need to get behind. Long ball, get up there. Oh. Just hung it a little bit too much. Yep. That's when you got to hit that bullet pass with the left analog stick right there on Madden and just drill yeah. it to him. That's right. Went right into his arms, but he had a defender on each side of him. That's just about impossible to catch, but great placement for the ball. My old coach used to say, when you throw the ball, only three things can, ha three things can happen and two of them ain't good. That's right. <laughs> so we try to keep it on the ground when we can. But it's going to be fourth and 13. Uh, we're going to have Wilcox yeah, back out there to punt. Nine. Had a great punt uh, while ago. Number three back for Jenkins. He's standing on his own 10. We need to pin him back there. Still seven to nothing, 12 minutes to go in the first quarter. Is he gonna pick it up? No. No, number two is too fast for him. Adolphus Cross over there. No, excuse me, not Adolphus. That was gonna be Anthony O'Neill. I think Anthony O'Neill's like, yeah, pick it up. <laughs> yeah, that snap was a little low on that. Caused him to get the punt off late. Didn't get his full leg into it, but it's still gonna be good. Uh, starting position for Jenkins. I think Jenkins has got some two-way starters too. Maybe it'll start wearing down on them right here. Was spotted at the you remember those playing two ways days back in the day. I'll tell you what, County, you come back out from halftime, it starts hitting you. So what's well, probably something we're gonna see after the second quarter. We've got a couple extra balls on the field. All right, Jenkins County right. still in the Triple option. Coach is sending in last minute instructions. Let's see what he's going to do here. Going to hand that trap oh. off. One's in there. Excellent. 21, Gavin Dice makes the tackle again. Man, he is right there, isn't he? 53 also in there. That's going to be Brandon McWilliams. I'm telling you, the center of our defense Number is getting great push. Martin great Martin push here. up the middle. Gain of two on the play to bring up second down and eight. Jenkins County gets the call in from the sideline. All right, single man, single receiver over here, the closest to us, to the left side. Let's see if we got some pressure coming up. Yeah, watch out wide. Here we go. There it is. There it is. Oh, we were ready for him. Sixteen and two. Who we got? And Sixteen 57. and two. Two's going to be Anthony O'Neill. 16 was Ty Sneed, and you said 52. That's going to be Marquise Harris. I tell you what. And you had Gavin Coach, Dice. Coach said on. the blitz on that outside right side. They pitched it there, and it was over with. We, they ran right into our blitz. And I tell you, even though Gavin Dice didn't make the tackle, he's the other side linebacker and was about a foot away from getting in on that tackle. Oh, he yeah. come all the way he's across everywhere. the field. All the way across the field. All right, pay attention, guys. Pay attention. Let's go. All right, look for a trap again. They busted that trap a couple of good times. If East Lawrence gets caught sleeping right here, looking for the outside. Yeah, third and 15. They don't. They don't get it all. They'll be punting. So we just need to play safe here. We got a timeout, Jenkins. Folks, we're going to take a quick timeout too with 10 minutes to go here in the second quarter. Your score still seven to nothing. More Eagles. We'll be right back with you. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Are your appliances not performing correctly? Call 309 5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. 
Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area. Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, green and growing, invested in the communities we serve. For consumer loans, commercial loans, mortgage loans, contact us at 272-7775 or log on to cbs-lc.com. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, located on Hillcrest Parkway and downtown in the Henry Building. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. All right, folks, we're back with you. I hate y'all miss that. Cashmere Bryant over there coaching his defense up. I love it. Third and long. Oh, look at that. Stay, stay with him, with stay it. with him. Two Who is that? Two Number two. Up. That is Adolphus again. Hey. Quintavious Adolphus, great job. And guess who cleaned it up? 21, Gavin yep. Dice. Two and 21 is, is literally so far, two of our player of the game nominees right now. We'll Absolutely. be bringing that to you from Myers Equipment and Dublin Chevrolet Nissan after the game. So don't go anywhere, folks. But I tell you, I don't, I don't know who else we could eat. I mean, we've got everybody making plays, but two and twenty ones really standing out right now. They are absolutely. And that was a great play because you had about three or four Falcons in there trying to stop that dive. They bit on it. These guys, they maintain their position, their lanes, and they took down running back five yards behind the line scrimmage. Short Stay punt, away from short it. punt. Cash, don't do it. That's oh. why I said don't do it. He might he's, have it. He's got, he's got room to run. He's still on his feet. I tell you, he's right. so fast. He, he got just a couple flags out. Gavin, get your butt back on the sideline before you get a penalty too. Probably going to be a holding call. Probably going to be a holding call. I get scared on them short punts like that running up because you're so worried about yeah. looking up and picking the ball up at the same time. Yeah, and you know, the thing is, you see it rolling. That was a fast roller. You could have lost 15 more yards on it, but that's better than a turnover. So if you get it, you turn a play like that, coach loves you, you turn it over, might not want to go talk to the coach when you get to the sideline. All right, let's see what the, the penalty is. Officials pulling out there. Their little rule book, trying to figure out what's going on. Blocking the back. Blocking the back. Yeah. Still going to be great field possession here. We starting out. Yeah, we got a warning for a sideline infraction. Tell you what, though, that that was a, a momentum shifter. You got the ball here, Jenkins 39. We talked about what it would take to get these guys back into it. Man, this I'm putting somebody it. out wide and throwing a deep route. We got the speed. We yeah, have I can the tell speed. you right now, if, if you can do an out and up on that outside, if you can get past them, quarterback's got the arm to hit them. Safety's coming. The safety's, safety's cheating up. Yeah, safety's playing just behind the linebacker right now. Whoop. I tell you, Boston ain't got the speed cash he's got, but he sure ain't scared to run the ball either. No, he's not. He lost his helmet or what? I think somebody hit him when his helmet was off. I, I don't think it was intentional, but I think they fell on him. And, yeah. Which means cash is he probably going to have to. Face there. Who we got 10 right there fixing to come in? Carswell, we got 10 checking in. Boston's going to have to come out for a minute. Boston is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Boston, Boston, Boston got a little bit of a limp there. The Hopefully he'll be all right. Uh, we still got two good quarterbacks. Cars will under center. Oh no, ball's on the ground. Anytime that new quarterback comes in like that. Have it fumble on the play. Oh no. Jenkins County recovers. Uh, Jenkins County recovers. Got to let it get in that bread basket before you try to take it from them. Yeah. 
first and 10 from their own 41 yard line. Well, and that was the momentum shift we look for with the short punt, and now Jenkins is back with the momentum right, shift. Let's, so. let's have our turnover on our own, guys. Let's, let's get the ball back right here. 8.14 to go, second quarter. Falcon defense holding strong. All but the first drive. They've been doing a great job stopping the run. All right, defense shifting around, trying to get in place. Jenkins County. Here we go. Oh, blocking the back right there. 53 in there, 53. Yeah, 53, that's going to be Brandon McWilliams again. Brandon I tell you what, Adolphus was in the backfield. He got shoved in the back, or he'd have made that play. Will Di uh, Gavin Dice, I keep wanting to call him by his daddy's name. Miss Donna Dice and Will Dice, like I said, East Lawrence Falcon alum, do a great job over here. I know they're proud to see the boy out there playing like he's playing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And he's only a junior, so at least we get him one more year. Yeah. He started as a sophomore and has done a great job. Plays on the baseball team, good in school. All right, seven minutes and 30 seconds to go, counting down to halftime. Good outside containment, 57, 57 is there. That's gonna be Stanley. Yep, Wesley Stanley did a good job reading that. Great outside containment by the defense. Bringing up third and 12. Let's see what Jenkins County is gonna pull out of their hat right here. I don't know what coach did earlier when he took a timeout, pulled him to the sideline but it had to do something with outside containment because we have not seen an issue since he uh, gently nudged them in the right direction, Jeff. Yeah, I tell you, if Boston can't come back in, I might put Cash back there in the shotgun because he's run this offense for three years at quarterback. So he knows what he's doing. He knows the offense, rocket for a, a cannon for an arm. Okay. Well, did I speak too soon about 57 outside containment? 57 got him, got him short, got, got him, him short. Yard short. That was 57 coming across the field again to make the tackle. That's yep. good pursuit That's on Stanley. Stanley. Yep. Stanley never gave up on that. I tell you what, that Stanley good doesn't good make that tackle. Good. He might have been gone. Oh. All right, let's see if we, yeah, it looks like we're going to accept the penalty so they don't have a short field to maybe go for it on four. Yeah, absolutely, because at this point with 6-17 left, you're up by seven, you'd go for it right there. I don't know if we can stop a one-yard trap play. No, absolutely not. We play third down. You might stop it on first and ten, but you're not going to stop it on fourth and one when they're running downhill. I'll give it to Jenkins. That's a scrappy little bunch of youngins down there. I'm impressed with them. They're running that triple option pretty good tonight. They are. It's very smooth, well coached. Right. Running outside, trying to cut back in. And Gonna be zero and 21, oh, excuse me, zero and yep. 57. 57, well, Stanley Thompson's in there Stanley, again. Stanley yep. trying to get his name in the hat. Stanley said, I, I want to be in there for player of the game. Yep. Drop down. Way short of the first down marker brings up a fourth down. I'd like to see Stanley uh, intercept the screen and run it back in just a second. I wish yeah. they throw him a little old screen pass over there. I, I, I'm telling you, if I had to predict a player of the game, it's going to be defensive. Because right now, this is a very defensive ball game. I hope Cash just heard you say that now. <laughs> and bust about an 80 yarder off in just I'd a second. Say, I'd love to be wrong. Who we got back there returning again? That's going to be Cash. He sure ain't getting as deep as he was. No, he's pretty short. Number 25. Let's see what we're doing point. here. Timeout called by Jenkins County. I'm not. Let's see what they're calling. We're going to stay with you folks right here because it probably. I don't know if he saw somebody line up in a gap or something. He didn't want it to get blocked, but we're getting through there. Yeah, we're definitely getting through. He might have also seen how we were lined up short, and we were lined up pretty close to the home side. A lot of field to the right. He might be getting them to kick it over there to the right and try and roll it down. Because there's a lot of time on the clock left for these Falcons to drive before half. Better get ready, because Cash will go get it, as you've seen. Yes, he will. He 
Jeff, tell me this, where else are you going to go and have a good football game, good families, good tradition, and an electric guitar on the sideline? You're not going to see that anywhere else. It's definitely a good atmosphere over here on the east side. They're definitely building something they've been missing for a couple of years. All right, Cash. Leave it alone. And Leave it alone. Uh, nope. He's going to smother it up at the 34. He's getting risky. Cashmere's one of those ones, man. He's got the heart of a line, man. I'm telling you, he, he's trying to put that team on his back. And he's trying to make a play. And he's going to make one before the night's over. He's going to. It, it's coming. Ball spotted on the 33. Folks, we're going to take one quick break with you while they're getting the ball set up. 5.34 to go, 7 to nothing. It's still your score. We'll be right back. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got to uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin, Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. All right, folks, we're back with you. We got Cashmere Bryan in at quarterback. No, let's see, yep. Cashmere's gonna be in at quarterback. We got, is that Wilcox at fullback, back, or running back? I wanna call him a fullback because he's so big. Cashmere's gonna keep it. Blocking just broke down on him. He got about four on it. Yep, 52's back in there pushing bodies around. Brian picks up three on the play. All right, Cash, let's go. He was dynamic last year. I think he had about 700 yards rushing, led the team in uh, touchdowns, had five or 600 passing, did a great job. I'm just looking for some sort of spark. I wanna see which one of our young fellas is gonna give us that spark on offense. We got all kinds of sparks on defense, but I want to see someone step up on offense here. Absolutely. Cashmere still in at quarterback, going in a shotgun set. Wilcox to the left of him. He's going to run it again to the left, try to break some room. Oh, ball's out. Ball is out. Mm, hate to see that, folks. I tell you what, no. another fumble. Just the blocking's breaking down, and Cashmere's just trying to turn for more yardage. Yeah. He knows he's got to make a play, and sometimes you try too hard. Yeah. Got that ball too far away from his body. Jenkins come in there and punched it out. Good news for us is the ball went back towards Jenkins, so we got about 10 yards on the fumble backwards. Four minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the half. We're under five minutes to go. Uh, penalties and turnovers, what killed us last week. Seven to nothing, anybody's ball game still. Defense has been holding tight. On, uh, Jenkins County only one pass attempt, and that was for a sack. Gonna run that little trap with there. the wing. Wilcox in there for the tackle. Wow. Number two, you know what I'm noticing here? We got a, a, we got a couple players, Jeff, that have been getting in the backfield. But I'm seeing team tackling. That's good coaching. These guys don't give up until the runner's down. Same drill we run when we coach. Absolutely. Hey, hey whoever's got the ball, I better see 11 black jerseys running to it. Yep, that's good coaching. You can tell these Falcons are coached well. Stay and in I'm your watching. lane. Yep. Cashmere Bryant down here on the sideline. I like his attitude. He's not throwing a fit. He's eager to get back in there and get that ball back. That's good coaching as well. I'm ready for uh, Eli Downing to get back so Cash can get on defense a little bit. He's a heck of a uh, defensive back. There we go, plugging that middle again. I think Zero took two out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did. Anthony O'Neill was the first to, to try and hook him up in the backfield. I think Wilcox knocked him out of the way and made the tackle. Yeah, Wilcox said, excuse me, I got this. Bring up a third down and two. 
All right, Jenkins going to try to get this first down probably on a trap or something up the middle and probably try to milk this clock, take all the time away before half, go in seven to nothing. East Lawrence needs a big stop right here. We need a big tackle in the backfield. I'm almost sending everybody right here. I'm trying to send everybody because I'll tell you what's going to happen right here. If you, if you don't get them for a loss, they're probably going to go for it with this much time left and with East Lawrence not really making a lot of movement on, on offense. And I believe they are right at the line, Jeff. They're over it. They got it. Trap right up the middle. Yep. Yep, chains are moving. Wilcox again in on the tackle. Folks, we're down to about three minutes to go here in the first half. Still seven to nothing your score. Now how aggressive is Jenkins going to get here is the question. I'm sure they got a double reverse or something in their pocket, back pocket right here for this kind of occasion because, they're, again, they're not a throwing team. And we got too much penetration to really set back and let a quarterback set his feet. Yep. But you know East Lawrence is coming back out of the locker room ready to go. All right, we got a backwards pass here. Good pursuit, good pursuit. Wilcox there again on Wilcox the tackle. Wilcox again, wow. Number two is brought down the line of scrimmage. He no has great pursuit play. angles. When he cut back, I'm telling you, I got scared there for a second. Yeah. That, sh that kid's shifty it, for Jenkins County. He, he made a couple of Falcons miss, but Wilcox's pursuit angle was just dead set. His hips are just low to the ground, ready to hit. It was his number 12 uh, coming in, I wonder. That looks like a tall receiver right there to me. That does look like a tall receiver to me. I'd love to see Jenkins get greedy here, make a big mistake. That's a big old youngin right there. A good shot. That's the biggest kid on the field, and they got him in at fullback right now. Yeah, I don't know. They got him just blocking. Well, they were holding Outs our outside guy. Yeah. They not were definitely gonna, holding our not guy. Not going to get a flag. Yeah, they brought 12 in the block right there. That's all he was there for. He had to kneel down to block the lineman. That's a, that's a big, tall youngin. Yeah, he must be a primarily defensive guy. Ball spotted on the 36 yard line of East Lawrence. Bringing up third and about two. Clock still rolling. They're not interested in taking timeouts. Right up the middle again. Oh, quarterback kept it. It faked me out. Quarterback keeps. Number eight the on the tackle. The only success they have up the middle, Jeff. They can't down. run that dive up now the middle, but if they run the quarterback behind after the fake, they get a little movement there because we're, we're attacking that the fullback so hard that we're forgetting about the quarterback behind them. Anxious to see what Coach Turner does at halftime. We we started out sluggish against Trinity. It was 14 to 13. Ended up 42 to 13. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Well, that was an unintentional face mask. So it was only five yards. Yeah. All right, we got to hunker down right here, guys. Yeah. Don't need to be letting them get any more points on the board here. And I think we need to start putting some pressure on. All right, he's probably called he's probably called two or three plays in, in a row because I think they're out of timeouts. Well, it says Jenkins has got one left, but I thought they already used all three. Time rolling down under a minute, folks. Not a lot of urgency out of Jenkins. Well, the corner done his job. No. Corner did his job, but the inside pursuit just didn't get there. Looks like the coach is calling for a spike. Why is the clock stopped? That's what I don't understand. Unless he called timeout. Uh, Jenkins finally did, but Jenkins was actually telling them to spike it. The coach was screaming coach, to spike it. The coach was screaming to spike it. There was no timeout call. They might as well have run a play. They had a timeout left. Man, I'm sending him. I'm sending. I'm. I'm sending Wilcox and Dice as hard as I can. I'm sending yep. them right down. Don't. I, don't play no base right here. Go with it. I need to see some outside pressure. Outside pressure on that play right there would have brought them in. 
All right, folks, we're going to be right back with 41 seconds to go. Seven to nothing, steal your score with Jenkins County driving. Welcome, fans. It's time for Friday Night Football. And now, from Farmer State Bank, Ben Knight. Ben Knight, what do you got for us? Ron, we have a ton of excitement tonight, dedication, and a commitment to excellence. Come be a part of our team at Farmer State Bank and join us on Friday night as we celebrate the Crusaders, the Fighting Irish, the Falcons, and the Raiders. And remember, it's as easy as FSB. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. All right. All right, folks, we're back with you. 41 seconds to go, fixing to break the huddle on a Jenkins County timeout. They're out of timeouts. Probably looking for that uh, quarterback keeper, that trap up the middle again. Jenkins County's probably got a couple of plays called in a row right here, just in case. That's the best drive Jenkins County's had since the first drive of the game. It is. First drive of the game, they had two big plays. Otherwise, they haven't really moved the ball. They've been just steady driving on us here. All right, Jenkins County in the tight triple option formation. Man in motion. Jenkins County's going to throw Outside. that pitch. And we got him down. That's Good going to be number tackle. 12 in there on the tackle. Time's still going. That's John Downey. Clock still rolling, under 30 seconds. Jenkins County's trying to get set. And they spiked it with 22 seconds to go. And number three, clocks the ball with 20.5 seconds left to go. All right, the now. official 20.5. Official's a little bit late on calling that ball dead. Gonna make it third down now, third and down about one. Official's moving it, third down and two. I think it was third and three. Let's just move it back one more I'm yard. good for third and 20. <laughs> Now well, I tell you, momentum swing right here if we can stop huge them. Huge momentum swing. These young men have to realize they can't wait for the runner to come to them, though. They've got to go to the runner. If that runner has any kind of momentum, he's going to get across that line. Let's see what we bring them out in. They're going to try to spread them out. Uh, they got number 12 back in, so it's going to be coming to the right. It's coming to the right. East Lawrence sees it. They're lining 12 up. Yep. East Lawrence calling East a timeout. Lawrence gonna take a talk. We're going to stay with you. That number 12, they done called their card now. Yeah, yeah, they did. That was probably going to be that quarterback rolling out to the right and 12 taking out the first person he saw. Well, and if you noticed, he was lined up. There was another person right behind him. I think 12's going to kind of become a New England Patriot there. You know how that play works. First <laughs> guy comes through, takes out somebody. Oops, my bad. And the next guy gets the, the pass there at the, right at the end zone. Oh, yeah. A little pick and, pick and roll. We, we haven't seen that before, have we? Coach Turner coaching them up. Great defensive-minded coach. They're adjusting the clock again, so it's 20 seconds now. We lost a half a second when the time never started, but. All right, come on, Falcons. Student section is definitely pumped up. Hopefully the players are listening to them. I'm just worried about my young getting pneumonia down there with no shirt on, with the <laughs> wind blowing, but yeah, he's his father's child. Man in motion, gonna hand it to that fullback. I think his knee was down. They're oh, calling it a touchdown. They're calling it a touchdown. It, it looked like he, he was down short, but. I'm not wearing the zebra stripes tonight. Mm, that's not a gut punch right before halftime. Yeah. It's exactly what we didn't want to happen. And it's nothing against this defense. This defense has really played pretty good this first half. It's just they've been on the field because the offense is not moving the ball. We just, we got to have some offensive support. 
Oh! I tell you what, that was Cash almost blocked that. We got in there. He does have some speed. We got Dice and Cash over there trying to talk to everybody. And 15.5 seconds left to go. Let's see if Coach Turner tries to play conservative in a second and kneel down or tries to do a little something at the end. Well, right now, after two fumbles, you switch quarterbacks. Like right. you're probably trying to get in there and coach them up a little bit. Yeah. I never thought our third string quarterback would be the best thing in the world, but at least we have an experienced quarterback in. That's right. And hopefully Boston will be able to come back in. I don't know what happened to him. Hopefully he'll be all right. Uh, he threw for over 200 yards last week in a loss, or a week before last. Just no blocking tonight for him to do it. All right, 25 set to kick off. Cashmere Bryant back there to return. Let's see if they don't try a little pooch kick. Cashmere Bryant on the return. Nope, number 12, I'm sorry. That's gonna be down, and he's got a little speed there, up to the 41. One of our better offensive plays of the night has been on punt return and the kick return. Yeah. Yeah, Cash earlier down in there. John Downing And Jenkins County runs a triple option so good. I mean, I don't think we had three possessions tonight. Ball's going to be spotted at 41 no. line with 6.1 seconds. Or it, it, it seemed like that because half. they've been so short-lived. It has been short-lived. And, you know, again, the fumble bug a couple of times. You know, when Cash went in there at quarterback, it kind of looked like he had a little spark, but unfortunately he lost the ball there. Well, we got 18 in. Back in Boston, that's a good sign right there. Yep. Cashmere Bryant, I think, is lined up in the slot. That's going to be dangerous. Ball goes out of bounds. 0.8 seconds. Let's do it again. We got wide open. I think that's Snead over there. I can't tell. Running wide open on the left side. I don't know. I'd probably rather throw a screen to Cash and let him run with it. Yeah, it's either that or line Cash up on one side by himself, everybody else on the other side, get him some one-on-one -on -one and hope he does a little Tyreek Hill. Yeah, yeah, we definitely got a cheetah. We just got to get him open. Good blocking. Balls downfield, intercepted. All right, folks, that's going to be our halftime score, yeah, 14 to nothing. Half. Your East Lawrence Falcons are down, waiting on Coach Turner uh, to go in there and see what we do, our halftime adjustments. Coach Turner talking to the officials. I don't think they want to hear it. All right, folks, we'll be right back with you in just a second. Stay with us. we got our East Lawrence Band of Gold fixing to perform. It's that time of year when we come together to support our team. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Down here at Dublin Chevrolet where we're putting dreams in driveways. Go, let's get out of there. Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle. Yes, Miss Thomas, we've got your traverse booked for next week. North and south! And remember, support your local team. You know the rest. Make the world go away And get it off my shoulders Say the things you used to say And make the world There's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. The band of gold is under the field direction of drum major Darius Knight and band captain Mason Frost. Tonight we'll take you back to the late 60s and early 70s with American, American R&B funk with our field show entitled Tower of Power. And this evening we'll be performing the following. You ought to be having fun. What is hit? And you're still a young man.
Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wind Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wind Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieved that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 That's Dublin Wind Nelson. North, south, east, or west, Friendly Gus is on your way today. Fuel up with Friendly Gus's delicious breakfast, made fresh every day. Your wallet and your belly will thank you. Friendly Gus has everything you need for football season. Choose from our 20, 40, and 60-piece chicken finger and wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Friendly Gus is your one-stop shop for tailgating parties. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus, on your way today. Also shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson in Dublin for additional tailgate items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. All right, folks, we're back with you. Second half action here at Falcon Field. Your East Lawrence Falcons are down. 14 to nothing. Let's see what Coach Ben Turner's got lined up for us in the second half. Cashmere Bryant, number 12, John Downing back to return. Cashmere fields it on the 22 yard line. He's waiting on his blockers. Somehow 16 shot through there and got him. And I tell you, we had, we had the blocker set up, but uh, he just shot through there. He did, he shot through a three man wedge. I don't know how that happened. 
looked like Minnie Mouse coming through there. All right, hopefully Coach had a talk with him, got him fired up. All right, folks, I'm just glad Boston's back out here for this second half. Well, I tell you, we got to complete a couple of passes. He's such a good quarterback, man. He just, he looked good against Trinity, Washington Wilkes. I don't count that interception against him uh, at the end of the first half. No, that was just to throw it up and see what happens. All right, Boston setting back. He's getting it out to Kashmir Bryant. Oh. And just when he turns around, he's right there in his face, number 12. That 12's pretty quick to be that big. He looks like a center for a basketball team, but he's quick. He Just trying quick. to get cash out in space is what we're trying to do. On the play. Second down and but it's probably going to open up our running game, opening the passing game up. Absolutely. Sometimes you run to set up the play action. Now we got to pass to set up the run action. I like what they did there with the quick swing out pass. You got 52 that's been pushing in all night. We haven't had the greatest blocking up front for the passes. So you're getting them quick passes off. Our receiver over there's got some good leverage. Pass should have bounced that out. Yep. Well, guess who was there? Number 12 again. Well, oh, he ran right off the tail end of 52, and he was in the backfield at that time. Got third down at 14. I tell you, we've got some good screens we run last year with Eli Down, and I'd love to see Cash get a hold of one. He just needs to be holding that ball in space. I don't care how he gets there. He needs to be holding that ball in space so we can see what he can do with it. All right, we got Wilcox back in at running back. Probably going to be a blocker right here if I had to guess. Yeah, third and 14. That's exactly what he's doing, Jeff. He's we got wide him, man. Open. Oh, oh, man. Not a bad throw under the rest. He threw yep. it where only his receiver could get yep. it. Got to go back to that. 52 put a hit on him, and yeah, he come up limping a little. Who's that, 53? Got not a, little... a bad pass. Not a bad pass. Brandon McWilliams. Had a little bit of a limp there, but shook it off. That's probably going to loosen that defense up a little bit, though. They're going to be back up in cover three, not playing so much man coverage now. Yeah, they've been playing four or five yards off the receiver and tightening up every time, so maybe that will. Wilcox got the wind to his back right here. He should be able to get a good deep punt off if it's a good snap. You got number 50 snapping right there, C.J. Mims. Good snap. Low punt. Come on, it's in our favor, bounce. though. It's rolling. Let it roll, guys. Down at the 30-yard line. Good coverage. Uh, by number five, Devin Walker. They take over first and 10. All right, defense got fresh legs on them now. Got fresh legs rest of the halftime, but we can't let them get wore out like they did in the first half. We've got to be moving the ball down the field when we get it back. All right, Jenkins County coming up in that triple option, 30-yard line. They got 70 yards to drive the ball right here. They got big number six at fullback looking for that trap and dive coming. A little pitch. And we got him out of bounds about for about an eight-yard gain. That was number 16 on the pursuit, Ty Sneed. Runner's going to be forced out of bounds after a game of five on the play. We'll bring up and East Lawrence coming five. off a six and four season last year where they made it to the uh, first round of the playoffs, played Putnam County, first time the playoffs in years. Yeah, and uh, you know, they're built to be in the playoffs. The coach has said it. He wants them in the playoffs every year. This is a team that he wants to be a perennial powerhouse. And he's, he's putting together a good squad and a good program here. Spreading them out a little here. Yeah, it's going to be second and five. Going to come with that trap. Yep. Oh, good pursuit. Uh, let's see, number good one job. right there, Quintavious Adolphus. Yeah. 21 shot through there, hoping the quarterback kept it on that one. Yeah, he sure did. That's Gavin Dice. Third down and two. He slowed everything up. He about got in there for the handoff, didn't he? Check that game of three on the play. He's definitely sure could use the ball. that turnover. Yeah, he's we seeing could, the ball well. We could certainly use that turnover in a short field. Jenkins County just seems to be well disciplined tonight. Not, you know, not not many penalties, holding on to the ball. 
Yeah, I think they've dropped the ball once, and it's uh, because we had uh, Wilcox or somebody get in there a little early off the snap. And other than that, I really haven't seen him make any kind of mistakes. Playing real safe ball. Quarterbacks there. keeping it. Oh, oh, and stood up at the Blown line. Blown up. Who is that? That's number, number 50. 50. Woo, boy, that is C.J. Mims. He got a hold of him, and he said, we're going the other way with you. C.J. Mims, you had Wilcox in the backfield and Gavin Dice again in the now backfield. Now, I'll tell you what, that was that play. They run that dive up the middle. They follow with the quarterback, and they've been burning us on that. Not that time. Yeah, Ben's done, ben Turner's done coached them up on that. Yeah. Looks like Jenkins going to go for it. They trust their guys on one yard. Gutsy play right here. Well, yep, that's going to be a long yard, so. That's like old Chan Gailey said, if I can't trust you to get one yard, I don't need you. All right, let's see. They're going to run it. They're going to get it. All right, see, we, we got to start hitting them in the backfield. Yep. Yep. Let's squeeze through the line. Number three checking in, Zacoby Brown, excuse me. Yeah, that's going to be Damian Patterson coming Ball off the field. Spotted at 43 yard line. All right, Jenkins County coming up. First and 10. We need a big play defense. A little pitch pass. There we go. Good job setting the edge and East Lawn. 57, Mr. Stanley again. It Come is on. Mr. Stanley, and also in there was uh, Marquise Harris cleaning it up. I know Tyrone's happy, man. I'm shout out to Tyrone Stanley, man. We love you, dude. We love you, son. You're doing a great job with them uh, young guys. Looking forward to coming through the east side. And guys, we're going to take a short break because we have an injury on the field. 14 to nothing is your score with seven minutes and 46 seconds to go. We'll be right back with you. You feel most alive where you feel most at home. And this, this is living. Bobcat, the company that changed the way the world works, is coming home with a quality compact tractor built to match your quality of life. This isn't work you have to do, it's work you get to do. So get it done in a tractor that's all you. See your dealer or visit bobcat.com. Cullen Supply and Engine Service, 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin and 826 South Harris, Sandersville. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. All right, folks, we're back with you. Injury timeout. We hope some prayers go out with the Jenkins County player that just got hurt. A phenomenal little athlete, but back up second in about 14. Little quarterback keeper, oh. Wilcox, just eating his lunch. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, hey, we up here high-fiving about to oh, fall off the top of the press man. box. man. You hear that Falcon sword right man. there. Yes, sir. Man, he shot in there looking like Ray Lewis, didn't he? Man, that was a good play. He read that. That, that right there, you talk about a group of kids that's coached up. He read that pre-snap because there is no way he makes that tackle that quick unless he knew it was coming. Outstanding, and number 30 actually checked in for Will Dice. Uh, he made a couple of good plays on the return a while ago. Evan Thompson, Evan Thompson, I think he's another young player. Yep. He's coming Evan's off, come you better go, Evan. Will's back on, Get good to see field. Will back on. Oh, Will's finna eat somebody up right here. I mean, Gavin, I'm sorry, I keep calling him. Gavin, yeah. I hope they didn't call that play. Delay a game on us or offense? Because of the sub. Delay a game called against the We'll take that, we'll take that. Yep. Yeah, Gavin's, Gavin's fixing to show out right here. Yeah, he's, he's got a channel out of motion, though. You can't go in there and leave your lane un, unattended to. No. I'm going to have to jack him up after the game, that little spat he had on the sideline. All right, come on, come on, there Gavin. We are Gavin's again. in there again. 
Gavin Wilcox and number 60. Who we got on 60 right there? 60, no, that's going to be. Is that 50 or 60? 50. Give me 50. Is it, is it 50? Okay, yeah, that's going to be CJ Mims again. He's made a couple good plays down there in the middle. We got 34 now, Mims, checking in. Who's 34? I want to get his name. 34 is going to be Lewis Roman. Lewis Roman. Yep. Mims there, 50. He's made a lot of good plays tonight. He's not getting credit because he's standing up one or two different linemen, so other guys are making the plays. Well, he's clogging that hole he, up. He is clogging that hole up. He's doing his job, so I just want to shout out to him. Yeah, and Jenkins is trying to hit that A-gap, and if the A-gap's done, they got to bounce it out. Come on, Cash. Be smart, baby. Be smart. Come on, Cash. Let's do it, baby. Let's go. Mm. Oh, the ball's out again. Hey. We've lost the ball again, and uh, Jenkins come up with it. Mm. You cannot come keep, you cannot keep carrying that ball away from your body. Hold on to it. All right, Falcon defense. I know we're tired. Let's get another good stop. You know, honestly, that's been the story of the night's these turnovers. Yep. I mean, our defense has just had to stay on the field. They've had to work short fields. At least Jenkins is playing both ways, too. And yeah. they're running that triple option. There's a lot of motion. They're moving it just as much as our guys are. Different formation, trips right. Number 12 at fullback. Look for a pass right here, some kind of rollout. There we go. You could call it with 12 in. Oh, he's got a step. Good defense. Oh, wow. He put his hands up at the last that was second. Absolutely. Was that number 12? Number 12. That's Downing. That's John Downing. He's and number down. eight was out there with Number him. eight as well. That's going to be Travian Richardson. He definitely got burned on the play, but made up for it. They did. They really showed some speed making up for it. When that 12 comes in, he ain't got the ball yet. Not saying he won't, but he, he's coming in as a blocker. Yeah. Up by hey, 12, heck of a play call by Jenkins County's head coach. Absolutely. I don't know if you remember when Bebe used to play for Georgia Tech. They'd run, 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 and Bebe's gone 60, 70 yards. Yep. Bebe ran a run route. Sure miss watching him play on Sundays. Oh, man. Hate to see him. I, I wasn't a Tech fan, but I was when Damaris Thomas was there. Absolutely. Got the, got the privilege of playing against him in high school. And oh, I tell you what, they can try to run that quarterback every time but we have figured that out they were coached up at halftime and we got that figured out who's I'm getting, that i'm getting tickled at, at dice because they had him stood up and he come in there like a dog on wrecking ball oh, he's gonna hit somebody i think he took our own player out yeah. I mean, he took about six of them out and four of them were black jerseys <laughs> yeah absolutely just... right at the middle of that was uh travian richardson he's the first person to stand him up i believe all right will channel that energy buddy All right, folks, five minutes to go here in the third quarter. I got a feeling we're going to have a surge in just a second. We just got to get that ball back. There's a lot of passion on this defense. I'd like to see that channel over to the offense because I'm not seeing that same bit of passion. All right, we got 12 in still. Let's see what we got going on with him. Where's, where's, he? where's 12 lined He's up? coming over to the right side. Probably going to be a rollout with that quarterback. They love to come to 12 side. We probably need to cheat the safety over here to the left. Oh, they and gave oh, it to him. That was a good play. We had outside containment, though. Number 12, number Absolutely. I what think they a, tried to throw us off on him. Let, let me tell you something. That was a great call by the Jenkins coach, but it was an even better stop by the Falcons. And see they that, were ready for it. That triple option is a lot like the wing tee we've always ran, just that misdirection that throws them off. Absolutely. It's so hard for kids this age to stay disciplined. Yep. And we're doing a pretty good job with it. I don't mind if they just make a good play and beat us off the ball. Just don't get tricked. Stay in your lane. Yeah. Yep. You stay with your man. Stay in your gap. Everything's going to be fine. That was a good job not getting pulled in on that one. All right. It's going to be fourth and seven. We got 12 lined up on the left side right there. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting scared on this single man coverage on this side. Oh, false start. All right. Yeah, he got yep. him. He got him. Yep. Uh oh, easy now. We don't need none of that. All right, we don't need 50 kick guys. You get your there. butt back in that hook. That's old Mims. I think Dice done got in his head. Is that is that 60 or 50? 60. Is it 60? It's 60 right there. Okay. Who's 60? Now 60, that's gonna be Justin Ashley. Justin Ashley. I thought that was old Mims down I there. I love the smoldering intensity, but 
let's wait till we wrap up with them. We don't want to get no silly penalties. We, by the skin of our teeth, still in this game. If you had your ticket for the 50 50 raffle, now's the time to take it out. I was checking my ticket and I forgot I didn't get one. Okay. Oh, well, I might. I don't know. It is number 847-1854. No. That is Kenny Franks. You got Cashmere Bryant back there again. Let that one go, son. Good decision. Good job, Cash. Calm down, buddy. Let's come back yep. and make a play. We believe in you. Yeah, Cash just wants Kenny to get Franks. out there and make up for a couple of them fumbles. I can understand that. Get that ball tucked All away, right. he'll be fine. Oh, yeah, and we're going to take a short break right here, guys. 348 to go here in the third quarter. Your score is still 14 to nothing. We'll be right back at Falcon Field. And now the starting lineup for the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County, Century 21. Brian Howell, Charlene Lamb, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Jay Bradley, Jim Jarrett, Ruth Watson, Charlene Bradley, Raina Doverly, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden. Count on the winning team to help you score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com or call us at 478-272-1535. The winning team, Century 21, Durden Cornegay. It's that time of year when we come together to support our team. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Down here at Dublin Chevrolet where we're putting dreams in driveways. Go! Let's get out of there. Run! Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle. Yes, Miss Thomas, we've got your traverse booked for next week. North and south! <laughs> and remember, support your local team. You know the rest. All right, folks, we're right back with you. Boston in the shotgun, Wilcox in the running back in the backfield with him. We're going to throw. Getting it out in the flats to Wilcox. Oh, the, mm. thank you, Lord, for it Woo. going out of bounds. Yep. Lucky yes, bounce. That was a good catch. He got tagged. That 52 got out there and made that hit. That, That's the nose tackle going out in the flats. Yep. That is an absolute beast. All right, new game plan, run away from 52. Well, it's hard to because standing directly behind the nose guard is the linebacker 12, and he's been playing good too. 14 catching a cramp, got 11 checking in right there. Yep, that's going to be Tristan Baker. Tristan Baker, no, must have switched jersey. That's not Tristan Baker. Richardson, excuse me. Oh, man. Quarterback is led in the backfield for a loss. They're bringing up third down for the Falcons. Boston looking around like, where's my blocking at? All right, got seven checking in. That's Sneed. Sneed. Terry Sneed. I don't know. Them Sneed boys can catch now. I, I'm throwing to a Sneed. Find a Sneed and throw it. I'm telling you, they're some good athletes. Come on, come From on. his own end zone. Oh, and he dropped a beautiful pass. Boy, that was a beautiful pass. And that was Snead that had it in his hands. He just couldn't hold on, but he had a lot of room to run there. Might even been able to take that one up the field and down to the house. Great throw by Boston. He's yep. limping around out there. He's showing a lot of heart. He's staying in the game. Yep. That was that was a perfect pass. And in let his him own just end right. zone, stepping up in the pocket. Yep, he took a hit. Wilcox in the punt. We're watching pretty much the first half all over again. Offense moves back, keeps giving a shorter and shorter field to Jenkins. Can't Time let the out defense by, yeah. rest. Timeout by Jenkins. 52 didn't want to come out, and the coach had to go snatch him off the field. All right. I don't know. I don't think officials know what's going on either. Wilcox for the punt. Good punt. Line drive. Hopefully this gets past him, and it does. 
That was about a 60 yard punt from the end zone. 64. Great punt. Good job, Mr. Wilcox. Yep. Check that 37 yard line of Jenkins County. All right, Jenkins County going to be taking over from their 37 yard line. Falcon defense been playing strong, but unless we can do, get a scoop and score, it don't look like we're, we're having much production scoring any points tonight. The defense has done their job. And we actually have one of their good running backs out of the game right now. That's why 12's in on offense. They must be trying to save him on defense and not gonna be able to do that now. Jenkins County still on that triple option. Man in motion, gonna give it to that trap up the middle. He's gone. Right up the middle. Untouched. All right, Jenkins County finna line up for the extra point. It's making it 20 to nothing. Four yard here. Definitely not the way I thought this game would be going in the third quarter. Well, I think you said it earlier, Jeff. I think what we're seeing here is one team playing very clean football, very disciplined, and unfortunately for the Falcons, they made a few mistakes. And the kick is up. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. It's going to be 21 to nothing, your score. And Falcons being shut out right now. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. Hey, I'm Sam with AutoMax, your local repair shop. We're family owned and operated. Our mechanics are ASC certified, 100% satisfaction guaranteed service. We service all makes and models, foreign and domestic. So come see it at AutoMax, your complete auto repair. We also offer certified auto repairs, mufflers, brakes, engine repairs, diagnostic struts, suspensions, and a whole lot more. Come see us at AutoMax, 707 Kellum Road, Dublin, Georgia, or call us at 606-6868. We're open Monday through Friday, eight to five. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Or your appliance is not performing correctly, call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. Time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area, Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. All right, folks, we're back with you. It's going to be, who do we got back there returning now? We got three and 19 checking back in. That's going to be Brown and King. And they will let that one go out of bounds. All right, they gonna make them re-kick it maybe? Let's see what if East Lawrence accepts it, takes it there, or they try to make them re-kick it. Oh. Looks like they're gonna take it. All right, they're gonna, they're gonna make them re-kick. While we were gone there, John Downing came off. He's getting worked on on the sidelines. Looks like he might just have a cramp. Hopefully that's all it is. Like to see old 19 Norion come in, do a, do a little bit of running. I know he's just a freshman, but give him some reps. All 
right, Boston in at quarterback. Got Wilcox in the backfield with him. Cashmere Bryant's going to be out at your slot receiver. Going to be running in a trip set formation to the right. All right, pistol formation. You can't run forward. Yep. This is not Canada football. Yep, they got cash on that. You got to get set. You got to get set. Yep. And the offense, first down. start call. And we just can't get right here on offense. We're moving backwards every series. Yeah, that was definitely going to be a pass to cash right there. He was running that little out route for now. Yep. So I think they're trying to get the ball in Cash's hands just to kind of calm him down and get him leveled out on the easy pass. And he, and he is a fast athlete, but we got four or five other guys that can ball. Yeah. We got to get it. We just got to spread it around. I think they're keying on Cash, too. There we go. Looks like we're running about the same play here. Go, Boston. Yes, sir. Who we got number 11 right there? Is that one of my sneeds or is that somebody else? That's going to be Richardson. Richardson, good yep, catch, good catch. Yeah, Richardson. Boston's got good vision and a rocket for an arm. But he's got good vision and Richardson found the hole out there, settled down in the hole and waited for his quarterback. Yeah, Richardson was over there doing jumping jacks, wanting him to see yeah. him, and he was open in the flat. So. Yep. And he found that hole in the zone and took care of it. Let Boston throw the ball. All right, got Wilcox in the backfield. A little pass protection. Here comes 52. There's that Richardson again. We got a flag in the backfield. Yeah, they might have got us on a hold there. Maybe a pass interference. I don't know. I don't know. Brandon McWilliams barely kept 52 off of Boston. 52 was coming in. I don't know if they were. Looks like he's got a holding signal up. Yeah. All right, let the officials think about it for a second. Yeah, that's what they're gonna call. They're gonna get, they're gonna get Williams there on the uh, on the hold. He had to do everything holding, he could to keep 52 off of Boston. I when didn't was see a much of a hold, but I'm, hey, I, I'm in a press box, right? When was a holding call 14-yard penalty? I don't know, folks. 10 yards from where it took place. Yeah, I, I guess. Holding call far right field when the play was on the left side. but oh, Got another whistle. What now? False start. There we go. All start call against the Falcons. Start call on the offense. All right, one minute, 47 seconds to go here in the th third quarter, folks. Trying to get something moving. Let's just stop running a motion. Let's just let's just stand up. I think we've had the most cramps I've seen all night. All right, get set, Falcons. Get set, get set. Stop bouncing. There we go, now move. He knew the ball was coming to him. Breaking toe and we lost the ball again. Michael Carswell made a great catch and a couple of moves, but guess what? We had the ball away from our body again. Cost us another fumble, coughed it up, and they took it to the house on us. Never seen so many fumbles. Well, they're running with that ball. It's not even close to their body. I mean, they're just swinging it everywhere. We got an injury, too, on the field. Yeah, that, that's going to be uh, Carswell that just fumbled the ball. Well, folks, Jenkins County's for real, I'll tell you that. They are for real. They've had a bunch of down years, and I've been hearing good things about the coaching staff and what they got going on, but they are for real. 14 cars were cramping up. They're trying to get him off the field. 
We're gonna get this extra point in and we're gonna take a quick break. Foes getting set up for this extra point. Your score is 27 to nothing right now. And we only got seven players on defense out there. Number 25 is on for the PAT. I guess we're going to run with seven players. I, I've never. I don't know what that was about. I and mean, I don't know how you miss four players on the field. Four players are off the field. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break, uh, have a little discussion here. Uh, score is going to be 28 to nothing. 28 to nothing is your score. One minute to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. And now, the starting lineup for the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County, Century 21. Brian Howell, Charlene Lamb, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Ruth Watson, Charlene Bradley, Raina Doverly, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden. Count on the winning team to help you score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com or call us at 478-272-1535. The winning team, Century 21, Durden Cornegay. All right, folks, we're, we're back with you. I'm trying to five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got all 11 people on the field now. All right, number nine going to field it. We'll get you a name here in a minute. Good return. I'll take that. Yep, absolutely. Well, you know who that's going to be? That's going to be Kai and Sneed. Kai and Sneed. I told you, put it in the Sneed's hand. All right, somebody's got to be a leader right here. I don't know if we could put Dice and Wilcox in on there on offense and give them the ball. I don't know. But. A little confusion about who's supposed to be on the field. From the old 49 yard line. Four, five, six, seven, At this point, eight, nine, two, you're starting to build for next week. We got 10 players on the field. Here we go. Here comes 11 now. All right. We got Evan Thompson running out now, there. Now, Dice played tight end last year a good bit, and he was a good blocker. Maybe we need to get him back out there. We need someone with some passion out there. 30's open, 30's open. All right, and there's another drop pass. That's gonna, it's gonna be Cayenne Sneed again. Number nine, Sneed. Come on, guys, you gotta dig oh, in. Let's go. Complete. We gotta dig deep right here. Yeah, it's time to pull your pants up, look in the mirror, and say who you're gonna be. And, and, and folks, we have the offensive power. I know it don't look like it, and I sound like a broken record, but. I've seen these boys play. I've seen them practice. We have some, just some of the best athletes in the county right now. Well, you know, it's Thursday night. It's not Friday. They're high school kids. Something goes wrong. They get emotional. A lot goes on in a high school kid's head, but this is where you got to make a man out of yourself. Come on, boss. A lot make a play. of good blocking there. We make the catch. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. All right. If I'm Jenkins County, I'm trying to strip the ball. I'm not trying to hit them low. I'm I trying to wrap up with them and try to get the ball. I don't know if you need to do it. That was Sneed. Sneed caught the ball that time, hung on to it tight. Looks like our blocking's gotten a little bit better. They, they blocked well on that one. Or it might be because 52's tongue's hanging out of his mouth down there. He's been all over the place. Yeah. And Jenkins isn't a big team, but I think we have a little bit more depth than they do. I feel like we've got more depth. I also feel like we've got some better athletes. What I'm not seeing is a cohesive unit. 
I'm seeing three players on Jenkins County do everything, offense and defense. Absolutely. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick timeout also with 42 seconds to go here. Your score, 28 to nothing with the Falcons driving. We'll be right back with you. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hey, I'm Sam with Automax, your local repair shop. We're family owned and operated. Our mechanics are ASC certified, 100% satisfaction guaranteed service. We service all makes and models, foreign and domestic. So come see us Automax, your complete auto repair. We also offer certified auto repairs, mufflers, brakes, engine repairs, diagnostic struts, suspensions, and a whole lot more. Come see us at Automax, 707 Kellum Road, Dublin, Georgia, or call us at 606-6868. We're open Monday through Friday, eight to five. All right, folks, we're back with you. Maybe that Guns N' Roses they just played on the break, we'll get them back ready to go. Boston in at quarterback. Wilcox in with him in the backfield. Shotgun formation, trips to the left, single man to the right. Another drop pass there. That, Boston's putting it on the money. He, he got that to Therese knee. That went right through his hands. I think he got there a little quicker than he thought it was coming. Boston's got some zip on that ball now. Yeah, might need to catch it with our chest, not our hands. <laughs> Just go ahead and block it in there somehow. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to need to do something. What was the movie, yeah, uh, Little Giants, where he hit him in the face mask? Just yeah, stuck there. Stuck he just run down there. Yeah, I think the replacements too, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, snap it now. We all, we should have got called for a false start on that one. Oh, that one was a little bit behind. A little All right, bit Jenkins Richardson County taking back one. over, and this offense right here is going to drain the clock out. They'll probably only run one play the third quarter. Fourth down pass is incomplete. Jenkins County will take over on down. If I'm coach after the end of the third quarter, I'm pulling them to the side. I say, I want to see your energy level up, and I want to see you play the fourth quarter for next week. We need to build some confidence and work on some stuff to come back next week and start moving forward. Because at this point, I've seen a lot of people walking around with their hands on their hips, not real positive. Not, they've, they've almost checked out of this game, Jay. Defense still playing hard, though. All right, we're getting through there. 57 got yep. through, Stanley again. Wilcox no got in there. The play will bring up second down and 10. Stanley and Wilcox both playing real well. All right, Jenkins County's probably going to let it roll down. Yep. 10 seconds to go. Folks, that's going to be the end of the third quarter. We're going to take a quick break and be right back with you with a 28 to nothing score here at Falcon Field. Looking for a career that's always in demand? How about one that provides you with practical and useful skills? A career that allows you to earn hands-on experience and an education with little to no debt? Oconee Fall Line Technical College prepares students with the right set of skills to succeed in fast-growing careers in healthcare, manufacturing, business, and technology fields. If you're ready to gain the experience you need to start your career locally, OFTC is where it all begins. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson, and we've been baking here at Williamson's Bakery since 1927. We're famous for donuts, cookies, pies, cakes, brownies, cheese straws, whatever you need. Come see us. At Williamson's Bakery, we put a little extra love in everything we make. Williamson's Bakery, check us out on Facebook, call ahead, or just come on down and get some. All right, folks, back with you to start the fourth quarter off. 28 to nothing is your score so far. Jenkins County, second and 10. 
Probably going to stay with that ground and pound offense. A I don't false start know there. what the heck happened. I know it was a false start. I believe we have a false start on that oh. play. On the offense. You hear Captain Obvious, Scott Davenport down there with the false start call with four people jumping off the, <laughs> jumping off the line. Yeah, I don't know Most which one they got. They had a few choices. Still got a strong crowd watching their East Lawrence Falcons. Band's been doing a great job. I'm really impressed with the band, the cheerleaders down there. Yeah, the uh, they, student section is definitely not giving up. They, they do a great job, man. We have a lot of support on the east side. I, I really am impressed. We've always had a good fan fan base. There comes that again. Oh, uh, there he is. Yeah, Wilcox and Adolphus in there. Yep. Yep, Wilcox and Adolphus. Gonna bring up third and about uh, 12, third and 11. Four on the play. Bring up a third down and 11. Let's see what they dial up right here. They'll probably keep it on the ground again, just try to keep that clock moving. All right, Jenkins County split set with the receivers. Number 12 lined up to the right. Might look something for him to be the lead blocker on. Uh, quarterback keeper. Well, and we had that shut down earlier. Yeah, he's about three yards short. Number two, Tyler Martin on the here. Being a 10 on the play. And I know the triple option, if executed right, is a really good offense. Check but that. you got an A, a B, and a C gap. And if you just stay disciplined, and don't get sucked in. Yeah, well, you can't you can't read the quarterback. You can't read the running back. You got to read the guards. That's how you know where you're going with that. But but if you're the yeah, if your job's the C down, gap, don't three. worry about the A and B gap. Just be where you're supposed to be. Absolutely. Be where you're supposed to be. Yeah. And there's so many people out of place. All right, stay on sides. Don't let them jump off sides. Don't jump off sides. Quarterback keeper again. I think yep, they got they, him. They stood him up. They that stood was him Will up at Dice. the line. Will Dice in there. Yep. Oh, Gavin Dice. Gavin, Gavin Dice. Gavin Dice. Yep. I'm sorry. Gavin Thinking Dice of his was daddy. in there. He was, a, he was a good boy in high school. Jacoby Brown was in there. I'm seeing some great stuff from this defense. I think they've given up a few big plays, but they've been on the field all night long. They've had to defend short fields. I, I tell you what. Right now, the, the East Warren's defense has been the star for them. Definitely had a good night so far. I mean, I look over that board and see big 28 points. I know the defense doesn't like it, but they weren't put in a position to keep it very clean. All right, we got a new quarterback checking in, Carswell. We got uh, Norion at running back. I don't know, Montgomery still got their starting defense, so. Pass get it up, low. get it up now. Pass a little low. Passing to for number 14. Yep, that was Almost headed. Incomplete. Headed for Carswell, just a little shy at his feet. Running up second down and 10. That's a big old quarterback, ain't it? That is a. I, don't, I might large have Carswell at fullback. Young. That's a big old youngin' right there. There we Seven go. On with the, the sweep. sweep. That's Therese Snead. He's still trying to move. Number seven on the carry, Therese Snead. He right. still has a little fight in here. on the play. Bring up third down and six. Right. Just need to get this first down. Just need to move the ball down the field. One thing you never want to see out of your team late in the fourth quarter when you're, you're down several touchdowns is that they give up. You want to build some kind of momentum for the next week. All right, cars will get in the play in. Let's give a little swing pass to Norion out there. He's a good athlete. And well, you can't hang on to the ball that long now. I mean, you got now 52. He's playing without a helmet now. That's a penalty. I think this penalty's on him. Yeah, it should be a penalty on him. He has to take himself out of the play with no helmet. Yeah, and you still had, but you had two receivers doing jumping jacks out there. 
Yeah, he held on to that ball way too long. I think he has Sneed and Richardson out there just jumping up and down. Just. I can promise you 110% that you, you cannot hold on to the ball that long and expect them boys to block for you. And I, and I was always thankful. I had a great offensive line in high school. And I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't want to get hit. So I wasn't out there doing all that dance, and it was time to get no. rid of I might Three make the wrong drop, throw. Boom. I might make the wrong throw, but I'm getting it out of my hands. That's what the running backs make money doing, not yeah. me. And that's, <laughs> what, that's what they got them for. That's going to give us a first down. Illegal participation. I'll take that first down. Well, he's been participating all night in all the wrong way, so I'm glad he helped us out a little this time. Yeah, we've got our third different quarterback in. I'd probably be subbing some folks in on Jenkins' side, too. Yeah. But they might want that shutout. I don't know. Good throw. Oh, and it's dropped again in the hands. I don't know why our receivers keep looking at their hands every time. Yeah, that's Therese Sneed. It's not their hands. I don't know what he's. And, and I'll tell you folks, if, if I had to, if I was a betting man, before the game, I'd have said this score would have been the complete opposite. Yeah. But turnovers have killed us. I, I think we've had at least five, including a scooping score. I yeah. just, I don't. And that's a good point. Seven points up there did come off a scooping score, so the, the defense is only responsible for 21. All right, Norion's running the ball. There we yeah, go. I told you, he's, he's an got athlete now. to his body. He's, no, and the, he had it stripped, and we've lost the ball again. He had that ball tucked into his body, but Jenkins come in there, and I saw him punch it right out. He reached purposely for that ball. That Jenkins County coach must have spent the whole week telling him to punch that ball out. And folks, I, I, I know it don't look look like it in the games, but Norion and Cash are great athletes, and they're just trying. They just tried to do too much. The blocking is broke down, and they just want to make a play, and they just want to do something for their team, yeah. and they're just getting. They're, it's like their their mind's working faster than their body right now. Yeah. And, and, you know, I fumbled it before. I mean, we all have. We, we understand what they're going through. And uh, I tell you, a big piece of the puzzle missing is Eli down at number four. Uh, I'm telling you, this game would be a, if Tristan Baker and Eli down were in this game, you got one of the best offensive defensive players in the whole county, region, middle Georgia area. And it just shows how bad it's hurting us right now with them two being out. They're leaders. Adolphus in the backfield. I don't know if he jumped a little early. False start against Jenkins County. Yep, false start on Jenkins. They're glad that whistle blew because Adolphus was going to take that hand off. Yeah, Adolphus or Dice, uh, they get to that point where they're going to end up hurting somebody in a minute. They got <laughs> Yeah, they're not happy. This defense has played its hard out, I'll tell you that. Yeah, looking at the scoreboard, 28 to nothing, that is not uh, a reflection of how the defense has played tonight. Yeah. One touchdown wasn't on them, and and just staying on the field 80% of the game. They, I they've mean, been they're on just, the field yeah. all night. They've had short fields. Oh, we got a fumble here. Get the ball, get the ball. Great play by the defense. Who got through there? Adolphus and fumble on the play, but Chickens County has recovered. That's their first, I think, mess up on offense all night. It I mean, was. it was disrupted by our defense. Yep. But. And that was Adolphus again. He's really interested in taking that handoff. I think he wants to play some running back. We got some good defensive players on offense. Yep. Dice, Dice can play. Adolphus, Wilcox. But I think they're just trying to keep their energy up for defense for obvious reasons. But Well, I'm impressed with the heart of the defense. I am. Are we really calling a timeout by Jenkins? Ball is on the seven-yard line. Timeout, Jenkins County. Well, I'd, I'd have to dare to say the Jenkins County coach has uh, – played a pretty clean game and expects a clean game, but he's not going to accept that fumble. Probably just wants to say a few words. I don't blame him. 
They have pretty much played mistake-free football tonight. They have, and that's the difference in the game. All right, and we're going to take a quick break, too, while they're on timeout. With 7.56 to go, your score is still 28 to nothing. East Lawrence Falcons down. We'll be right back with you. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. It's time to get in those plots. Five-way deer mix, three-way econo, 4S Harvest Advantage, oats, rye, rape, peas and beans, and clover. Don't forget to pick up your spreader and some fertilizer when you head out the door. Need a new feeder? Roach Farm and Garden carries boss, buck, and moultrie, spin, and gravity. Even got them that hold 600 pounds. That's a lot of feed. Speaking of feed, Roach Farm and Garden carries 4S Draw, FRM, Wild Game Innovation, and even Antler Extreme. Whole kernel corn, corn on the cob, pick up your salt blocks, and even have trophy blocks. Don't forget, Roach Farm and Garden carries trapping supplies so you can take control of your property. It's right next to the 4S draw. You need something to cook your game? Roach Farm and Garden has grills, griddles, fryers, and smokers. Roach Farm and Garden carries a full line of patio furniture, flags, wind chimes, and bird feeders. Don't leave out of here with some holy boots and shoes. We got a full line of Carhartt and Georgia boots. Bring the whole family, because there's something for everyone at Roach Farm and Garden. Two locations, Dublin and Wrightsville. All right, folks, we're back with you. 7.56 to go. Jenkins County, second and 30. Second and 30. Why is the quarterback so low? He's been there all night. He's squatting down almost on his bottom. All right, you got Wilcox, Adolphus. Uh, Who else we got? Gavin Dice, number 50 yep. again. Brown was in there. And Brown coming off the field now. He's going to be replaced with Downing, John Downing. All right. No gain on the play, it's saying. Third and 30. This would be about where Jenkins County do a play action pass right here. Johnson County's a good team. They played them pretty close. I think it was seven to seven at half with them. All right, running that trap again. Yeah, they got the, yep. Wow. Yeah, he'd have broke that if he wasn't almost slipped, yep. probably. Number six on the carry. Picks up a good chunk of yardage, but it will bring up a fourth down for Jenkins County. Yep, man, that was uh, Wilcox hustling to get him from behind. All right, got Norion Wilcox back to return. Not giving up. Yeah, Norion back to return the punt and see what this freshman can do. Look Had at, a great about 15 yard Wilcox. run. While he's ago. limping, but he's jogging off the field. His engine has not stopped tonight. No, sir. Very proud of his performance out here. All right, get off the field now. They're gonna get us. They're gonna get us with too many men on the field. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay. Come on, Norion. Let's go. All right, here comes Norion. He's got touchdown. blockers. That's He's got blockers. All right. Good return. Good return. I thought he was going to cut it back and score. That number 12 was coming yeah. for him. Yeah, number 12's been playing hard all night on defense for them. I can see what you're talking about with Norion, though. I mean, he's. He's got a, another gear in there. He's a stud now. I think they're just trying to ease him into it being a freshman. Yeah. But I mean, he's had the longest run of the night. He did fumble, but he had the longest run of the night, probably the most explosive on the punt return. Well, he had good vision on that run as well. It's just unfortunately he didn't have that ball tucked good enough for a punch. I hope Eli don't come back with no rust on I mean, uh, Eli Downing don't come back with a whole lot of rust on him next week. He had over a thousand all-purpose yards last year, about 15 touchdowns. Wow, that's a good season. All right, let's see if we can't do something positive to set us up right for next week. Fumbled the ball and lost it. 
I've oh, never yeah. seen a sl this, such this, a sloppy offensive nah, game. This is this has been a devastating night for the offense. Just a, a, a bad exchange. Well, and East Lawrence, the last two or three years, has run out of the shotgun 99.9% .9 of the time, and this getting under the center. But then I, I don't know. Maybe there's a reasoning for it because when I watched the Trinity game, we had three or four snap 30 feet over the quarterback's head, and Boston's running for his life yeah. trying to get it. So I, I don't I don't know. I don't care if it's been the, the center. I don't care if it's been the quarterback, the running back, the receivers. Everyone's hands tonight have been just as slippery as oil. Everybody. I don't know what's going on out here. All right, both teams still with all their starters on the field. Honestly, Jenkins' defense has not even been tested. That's nice number play. That's number there. 60 there. That was an excellent job hanging on. That's going to be Justin Ashley. Game five on the play. Good job getting low. It's like we get 15, 20 yards and we just fumble it. We're going to be running some fumble drills this week, I promise. Might be seeing some high schoolers walk around with books in one hand and a football in the other. Yeah. Up the middle again. Wilcox and... That was Adolphus. Wilcox just missed him in the back. Wilcox and number eight was in on that tackle. Yep. That's Richardson, Travion Richardson. He picks up a first down for Jenkins County. I tell you what, you could tell Wilcox is just exhausted but he is still running just as hard as he can. He's been all over this field. I know we're playing for pride, but we don't need another injury right now. We're injury riddled enough. Well, he's gone. And there goes another. You could tell when he made that first cut. Yeah. He made that cut, he broke through an arm tackle, and our defense is exhausted. I think they're gonna say he stepped out of bounds. That's probably a mercy call no. by the officials. Are they gonna give him the point? Did they give it to him? Got another East Lawrence player down on the field. Starters don't need to be in right now. But it's all cramps. Been a lot of cramps out there tonight. But it's all high school teams right now. I, I, yep, I've seen that, the most cramps. That's 34 to nothing just score. Jenkins counting a long run by the quarterback. And it's good making you score 35 to nothing. Here we'll be right back with you. North, South, East, or West, Friendly Gus is on your way today. Fuel up with Friendly Gus's delicious breakfast, made fresh every day. Your wallet and your belly will thank you. Friendly Gus has everything you need for football season. Choose from our 20, 40, and 60 piece chicken finger and wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Friendly Gus is your one stop shop for tailgating parties. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus, on your way today. Also shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson in Dublin for additional tailgate items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. I'm Glenn Register at Hometown Supply. Want to wish all our area schools the very best in the upcoming season. Hometown Supply, located in downtown Dublin, is here for all your home and hardware needs. We offer new and used appliances, both gas and electric. Competitive prices on electronics and computers, including cell phones, laptops, and tablets. We have service people on staff, a repairman for our appliances, and a computer technician for our electronics. Come by and see how we can help you. 
Just remember, if you can't do business here, you just can't do business. All right, folks, we're back with you, 35 to nothing. Maybe we can get something positive to build on for next week. Norion back to return the ball, it looks like. Come on, let's see if we can get a good play out of this. Everybody wants that sideline. Your blockers are, hold on to it. There we go. Up to the 35 yard line. I wish he would have cut it back. All the blockers were set up in the middle. He did, he had, he had a cut back. He made one cut, he had another cut to make, but he decided to take it back. You see that with young, speedy guys, though? They think they can get past everybody if they just run to the outside of the field. But. I'll say in three plays, a punt, a run, and a kickoff return, Norion's probably got the most offensive yards than anybody on the Falcon football team. Tonight. I guarantee it. He's probably got 60 all-purpose yards. and Minus the fumble, he's done a good job. That's not a good sign with the freshman having to come in and do it in the fourth quarter. Maybe East Lawrence looking to run the ball out right here. Who do we got checked in at running back? We got Wilcox and number 30 back there. Got some people in for help out with the blocking. Good cut. Good job there. Wilcox is second run of the night, his second first down run. Yep. Melvin Wilcox on the carry. Looks like Jenkins has subbed some players in now. Up another Owen Bailey State Farm first down. Wilcox showing some good vision there running the ball. He's got good vision on both sides of the ball. All right, Carswell in at quarterback. Here we go. Wilcox we got blockers. Again. What a hurdle. Still going. And folks, that's going to be our first uh, rehab advantage replay of the game. Yeah. We got Carswell handing the ball off, a little off tackle to the right with uh, Wilcox. Biggest explosive play of the night. He runs it to the right, he follows his blockers, he cuts back in and gets about a, we'll call it a 50, 55 yard run, but great run by Wilcox. Maybe we should have had him earlier on in the game, but folks, that's our first rehab advantage replay of the game right there. All right, he's taking a little breather, Norion's in. I'm telling you, I'd probably run to that right side again with Norion. He'll punch it in. Coach is go. listening. That time we uh, didn't block. I don't think the right tackle listened, though. There he goes. Good and he run. dropped the ball, but he I, was I believe he was down. Norion staying down. Come on, let it be a cramp. Hop up, big dog. Hop up, Norion. He took a hard hit right in the knee there. Well, I mean, bless his heart, he's running for his life back there. Yeah, he run all the way over past the right hash, cut back, ran over to the left hash. It was almost one on 11 right there. He yep. did it all for an eight yard gain. I love to see a young player like that. It's exciting to think about for the future. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break and see what's going on. Hopefully it's just a cramp. We'll be right back with you 35 to nothing with three minutes to go. The dog days of summer are here and Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales has a hot deal for you. Now's the time to buy the quality pre-owned car, truck, or SUV you've been waiting on. Come see TJ, Trey, Allen, or Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales and save during the dog days of summer. Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Make the world go away And get it off my shoulder The There's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. All right, folks, we're right back with you. Looking to be just a cramp for Norion down there. That's a good sign. Tough kid, tough kid. Who we got number five in it running back? Yep, that's going to be Devin Walker. And he might make this. There he is. 
Folks, and that'll be another rehab advantage replay of the game. We're running that right off tackle. Carswell hands it off. Uh, he makes a good cutback, splits two or three defenders, dives into the end zone for the East Lawrence first score tonight. We got our little light show going on, folks. Uh, gonna make it six to 35. Gonna have Tanner on for the extra point. And there's your Owen Bailey State Farm touchdown for the Falcons. Two doing the holding right there, Adolphus. No, excuse me. Uh, two's going to be O'Neal. All right, extra point. It's going to be up and good, Mr. Automatic Tanner. And All right, he's going to make it 35 to seven, folks. This should probably be our last break of the game, but we'll be right back with you. 35 to seven is your score. All right, boys. If you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kids' college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah make saving for your kids' college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account, where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. It's that time of year when we come together to support our teams. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Down here at Dublin Chevrolet where we're putting dreams in driveways. Go, just get out of there. Dave. Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle. Yes, Miss Thomas, we've got your traverse book for next week. North and south! <laughs> and remember, support your local team. You know the rest. All right, folks, we're back with you. 35 to 7 is your score. Jenkins County picks the return. Kick over to the side. Kick off is out of bounds. Maybe Jenkins County will just take it there. I didn't see him drop a flag. I don't know if someone touched it or. No, they dropped it. Did they? Might be that old man vision sitting in. <laughs> yep, yeah, that'll work. So he spotted at the 35 yard line. County coming out. Looks like we got their backup quarterback in. He's got some young players out there. We subbing some guys in too. Mm. Met at the line by number. I'll get you a number. Number 52 in there on the tackle. Met him at the line. Now that's going to be Marquise Harris. You know, Gavin Dice was ready to he come in and lay, lay it down to him, too, but he, he held up so he wouldn't hurt his own player. Rolling down, folks. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go. All right, looks like a little miscommunication right there by the quarterback and the fullback. Number one, I think, was meant to slam his back out and he held up right there. Right yeah. yeah, Dolphus held him up. I think that was a mercy right there from him. Got a third down. I'd like to see East Lawrence get it back right here and break a long one again. All 
All right, hit it the line Another right there. Job. Somebody got low down there. Is that? Oh my goodness, that's somebody else down again. We got another one down. He made the tackle, he hit him low. He might just have a stinger because he hit him down there in the shins. Folks, with a minute 29, we're gonna stay with you right here. Been a long night. All right, he's getting up. I think he caught a little cramp. That's a tough young man right there. Yep, Marquis Harris. All right, Mr. Harris is stud now. He don't want to come out. No, nope. he's got to take that play off. He made that last play. He probably got a little stinger, like I said. It was a pretty good hit down low on their running back. I've done that before. You laid your shoulder into somebody, got that little stinger up your neck. Very painful. I, I had one one time and still had to go in and throw the ball. <laughs> yeah. I was scared to say I was hurt. I didn't want to come out the game. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, coach. I can't feel my right arm, but I'm good. So we're going to get a punt here. John Downing back to receive it. All right, they're bleeding the clock now. 20 seconds on the, on the play clock. All right, going under one minute, folks. Who do we have back there returning? All right, short kick here. All right, they're gonna oh. stay away with. What are we doing? Very undisciplined there. Surrounded by Jenkins players, and we're just gonna try and pick that ball up for some reason. Lucky we didn't lose it. Yeah, Coach Turner, I don't know. I wouldn't want to show up to practice Monday. I'm not going to hang out in the locker room after the game. Yeah. A lot of mental mistakes out here. Basic, fundamental mistakes. Falcons are first and 10 from their own 44 yard line. All right, folks, gonna have Carswell in at quarterback still. Number five at running back. Five is gonna be Devin Walker. See yeah. if he gets an opportunity here. And he does. Good cut. Oh, might even have a little face mask at the end, but there's no zebras that can keep up with Devin. He outran the zebras and they didn't catch that one. Great Sorry. All right, we might try to get one more playoff. 37-yard line to Champions County. Clock's running. 13 seconds, folks. <coughs> Gonna get one more playoff. Walker again. All right, time out, time great out, play, out. great play. And the time's gonna be right, out, folks. Let the time run out. Great job by Walker on those last two yeah, runs. Yeah, Walker and Norion and Wilcox, man, I'm telling you, them, they three, them three run the ball hard. Folks, uh, not a good night at Falcon Field, but we're gonna try to get after it this week and get back next week. Uh, 35 to seven's your final score, folks. We appreciate you watching. We'll be back next week. Again, thanks to our sponsors. Rehab Advantage, uh, Myers Equipment, Dublin Nissan, Chevrolet, big supporters. We appreciate them letting us put this game on. And folks, we'll see you next week. 35 to 7 is your final.